back at Hayward Field for the 2022 NCAA Track and Field Championships and the first field event final of the day. You're looking at Cameron Rogers, a senior from Florida, the collegiate record holder. Now this is Alyssa Wilson of Texas State. Her second attempt, a toss of 245 feet, four inches, a personal best in a championship event. That would be enough for a top to finish as she takes the silver medal in the women's hammer throw but no surprise here cameron rogers the woman who has dominated this event at the ncaa level second attempt locks up the championship 246 feet five inches the ncaa champion in 2019 in 2021 She's going to do it in 2022 as well, but she's not done. She's going to toss one even farther on her fifth attempt, a PR launch, 254 feet, 10 inches, a new collegiate record, a new Canadian record, number nine all time in the world. Cameron Rogers now owns all of the top 10 performance marks in NCAA history, getting a celebration, a big hug there from her coach, Mo Satera as Cameron Rogers continues her dominance in the women's hammer throw, the NCAAs, Alyssa Wilson taking second and Beatrice Lano of Arizona State in third. And I am with Cameron Rogers and yet another one of her trophies. Um, boy, three in a row and another collegiate record. You spoil us. What did you think of the competition? <laughs> You know what? I mean, NCAA championships, you expect everybody to bring their best and to see all top six placings all have personal bests. I mean, it makes you want to do better and be better. And I think, you know, it truly lifts the entire competition. And to get in there and know that you're competing with some of the best of the best. I mean, it's it's exhilarating and very, very exciting. But how do you keep doing it? Because I mean, it's like we PR almost every meet, which seems exceptional. I, I, and I don't want to put limits on anybody, but <laughs> even when you get in there, are, are you ever shocked that, wow, I just did it again? You know what? I think every every personal best for me uh, is a testament to the work that Coach Atara and I have been putting in, not just this past year and not just last year, but all five years that I've been at Cal. And, you know, even my career before that, you know, it's it's the support system, it's the day in, day out, it's the multiple training sessions a day, everything adds up for or to this this moment. And I'm so proud to be one of Coach Mo's athletes and to be able to bring this home for Cal. And this is the last time we see you in a Cal, uh, I don't want to, yeah, bring a tear to your eye, in your Cal uniform, but um, we could have you back here in five weeks. Are you ready for Worlds? I am super pumped. I think coming to Oregon, coming to Eugene, Hayward, Oh my gosh, I've been coming here since high school and it's always had a special type of magic, you know? And so being able to compete here this year at Pac-12s and at NCAAs, it all feels like a warm up for the big stage. I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more pumped to be coming back and this time representing Canada. Fifth in Tokyo, just two spots and we're on the podium at Worlds. Thanks, Kim. Thank you so much.